once again to Travel in Chinese. I'm Mark Rosewell, also known as Dashan. In the last episode, we were in the far western reaches of China, Xinjiang. Today, we're going to go to southern China, to a part that has perhaps the most famous and most beautiful scenery in all of China. That's the area called Guilin. Huan Renhao and Mike, his colleague, just happened to be in Guilin attending a conference. Let's take a look at today's dialogue. Michael,非常感谢你们来桂林参加这次会议 你们可不知道我心里有多着急啊<笑> 很多人到这来以后都会有这种感觉怪不得黄经理呢难道他要照照片去了吗没有他在那边等咱们呢那边的风景比这边还要好呢是吗那快点带我去吧走来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来来
This time we absolutely must take you to a few extra places. 多去两个地方, to go to an extra few places. 把你这两天的损失补回来, to compensate you for your losses, 损失, these last few days. Here the liang could be interpreted as two or just a few in general. Bu is to compensate, as in mi bu or bu chang, bu huilai to return in compensation. But where is Huang Renhao? Could it be that he's out taking photos as well? Nandao is used to ask a rhetorical question. You mean he's out taking pictures too? He's not. He's just waiting somewhere else. The scenery over there is even better than here. The mountains around Guilin are quite unique. Mike says, 你背后的山看起来很有意思,好像是一头大象。The mountain behind you, 背后的山, looks very interesting, like an elephant. 看起来好像, looks very much like something. Mike has hit the nail on the head. 这就是桂林著名的象鼻山, this is the famous elephant trunk mountain of Guilin. B is nose, but in the case of an elephant, da xiang, we would say trunk. Xiang bi, an elephant's trunk. Michael, you're you're 没有,他在那边等咱们呢,那边的风景比这边还要好呢。是吗,来快点带我去吧。走。来,来,来,来,来,来,来,来,来,来,来,来,来,来,来,来,来,来,来,来,来,来,来,来,来,来,来,来,来
The seven stars refer to the seven peaks in the park, which are said to resemble the layout of Ursa Major, the Big Dipper. A boat trip down the peaceful Lee River is the absolute high point of any visit to Guilin. Gorgeous, karst peaks bring an amazing new scene at each bend of the peaceful river. Water buffalo patrol the fields, peasants toil in the rice paddies, school kids and fishermen float by on bamboo rafts. With its breathtaking scenery and taste of a life far removed from the concrete metropolis, the scenes along the Li River become one of China's top tourist destinations. Yangshuo, at the end of the boat journey, is today a developed village that thrives mainly on tourism. A round trip from Guilin to Yangshuo is often accomplished by boat down the river and bus back to Guilin. Now let's take a moment to go over a few of the language points that came up in today's dialogue. For example, fei de, meaning must or have to. 你今天非得去哪儿吗? 明天去也不晚呢? Do you have to go there today? It's not too late tomorrow. 你今天非得去哪儿吗? 明天去也不晚呢? How about this? 你难得来一次, 今天非得留下来吃饭不可. It's very rare for you to come or to visit. You absolutely must stay and have a meal today. 你难得来一次, 今天非得留下来吃饭不可. Okay, let's go back to the dialogue now and see how they use this pattern. 那我们这次啊,可非得陪你多去两个地方才行,把你这两天的损失补回来。now let's do a substitution exercise. Let's look at the pattern. 难道? Could it be? For example, 他怎么还没来? 难道他把出发的时间忘了? How come he's not here yet? Could it be that he forgot the departure time? 他怎么还没来? 难道他把出发的时间忘了? Okay, let's try a substitution now with this. 难道? Could it be? 这件事儿,你难道一点都不知道吗? 这件事儿,你难道一点都不知道吗? 来北京那么久,你难道连烤鸭都没有吃过吗? 来北京那么久,你难道连烤鸭都没有吃过吗? Okay, let's do another substitution exercise now. This time, let's use the expression 免不了, can't avoid, or you can't help something. For example, 来北京旅游的人免不了都会到天安门前照张相. Tourists who come to Beijing can't help but take a photo in front of Tiananmen. 来北京旅游的人免不了都会到天安门前照张相. Okay, let's do some more substitutions now with this 免不了. 犯这样的错误，谁都免不了。犯这样的错误，谁都免不了。来北京旅游的人免不了都会去长城看看。来北京旅游的人免不了都会去长城看看。I like the way in today's dialogue where they say that since we're in Guilin for a conference, we might as well go and see some of the scenery. 不如去看桂林的山水, we might as well go and see the scenery. I would say that the main reason for going to Guilin to attend a conference, not for the conference, but to go and see the scenery itself, you should say, 非得去看桂林的山水, have to go and see the scenery. Well, next episode, we're going to go and see a prominent landmark in Guilin, that's the Xiangbishan, the Elephant Trunk Hill. So don't miss that episode. We'll see you back here on Traveling Chinese. 再见。